Hey guys, Adam here from Guru Gamers, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a toggleable button, which you can turn on and off just with one button. Uh, I'm going to be using three different walls here. Uh, the blue is going to be for the input, the purple is for the output, and the white is just for like the, I don't know, the parts of the redstone, I guess. So we'll start off with the blue, which is going to be the input, and obviously you're going to need a button. Just one of them will do, and on the left side of that block, you're going to put a torch. After that, you want uh, a repeater behind the block, and you want it on the third setting. You'll see why later. Uh, you want a block after the repeater, and from that block, you want your redstone coming off to the left-hand side into that torch, so it should light up like so. On the back of this block, you need a torch, which should turn off because that is lit up, and you want a block of wool or whatever block you're using on top of the torch, like so. Now from here, you want your piston right there, like so. So you can delete those two blocks if you want. Just have the blocks like that. And from the piston, you need a block like that. So it's next to the redstone there. You want a redstone torch on the floor. And this is going to be your output right here. So I'm going to put some redstone there. And then we'll have a torch just to show you. So it's powered right now, and if I push the button, it will turn off. If I push it again, it will turn back on. Now I'll just show you if you wanted this to be like a wall or something, um, and obviously if you try and build a wall here, your torch is in the way. This is just a tip for you to make it a little bit more hidden. That will burn out right there. Um, I'll put the wall just here. What you can do is put a redstone up to there, put my button back on, and instead of having the torch right there, dig under the button. So place it like that, so it should light up like so. It's going to burn out again. Um, and then you're going to want some wool somewhere with a redstone torch, which is connected to the button, like so. Now from the torch, you want to make sure that you dig down one, because if you don't, you're going to end up like that, and that's not what you want. You obviously want the output to be powered, like so, and when you push it, it will work exactly the same. Obviously you can move this as well. So if I build a wall right here, put the torch back, it works! Yay! That's it for this tutorial. If you need any more help or you have any questions, feel free to contact me via the YouTube comments, Twitter or Facebook, and subscribe because I'll be making some more tutorials very shortly.